Hi, this is Brie from Brie Scraps, and I am going to show you Project Life at its finest. Um, I recently got some pictures back from Persnickety Prints. This is from a trip my husband and I took um, for our anniversary this spring. Um, Persnickety Prints is a online store that will print your pictures for you. I got some in 3x4 and some in 4x6. Um, I'm doing glossy and um, they do actually have a project life way that you can get um, with the corners rounded but I opted not to do that it costs a little bit extra but I thought I would just do it at home um, I also have the um, Kiwi mini album and I'm going to be using the olive core kit today I also have my Becky Higgins corner rounder and then um, the project life pens this is a uh, point or a one, a three, and a five. So they're different widths. Um, one is the skinniest, and then three is what I usually usually use most of the time. And then a five is just a little bit thicker. I use those sometimes for titles and things like that. So I'm gonna get my things ready, and I will show you a little bit about my process. A couple of things before I get started. Um, normally I print at home, but this is my first time ordering from Persnickety Prints, and I really like how these photos turned out. They're just um, on glossy. What I actually did was when I uploaded them, I picked all the vertical photos to go, um, or sorry, yeah, the vertical photos to be three by four, so that um, they would fit into the album in the smaller slots, um, and then the um, horizontal ones I picked all to be um, the 4 by 6 because when you look in this album you'll see that the um, page protectors are two 3 by 4 verticals and then two 4 by 6s so um, also if you've watched my other videos you know that I organized my cards into a an iris extra large iris 12 by 12 um, photo case um, it has 16 little boxes like this and um, what I do is I sort by kit and then I sort by color so these are the four that uh, make up the um, olive edition um, I just have the four by six cards all together and then the mint green color from olive the teal and lime color from olive and then the pink and orange colors um, I chose this one because you can see it's pretty tropical and my husband and I we went on a trip on a cruise um, to several different islands so I thought that would be perfect for us um, I'm going to sort through my pictures now and then I will start putting them in All right, so I've sorted my pictures. Um, I did them by day, and then um, we had a few days at sea on our cruise. So I did have some just like cruise ship pictures. Now, the beauty of Project Life is that you can just take them and slip them in. Now, what I have learned with these um, page protectors in these albums, um, they all open from the back, and so until you get to the middle. <laughs> So um, like here I'm going to slip in some pictures and I'll put some cards here to kind of tell about our trip um, just as like a cover page. Um, and then once you get halfway, then you can you are able to start slipping them in the front. So it's kind of strange, but um, that's just how it is. Um, so I'll add some more cards here, but right now I'm just going to batch um, these photos that I have from the first um, few days that we were there. This was one that we took um, as we were leaving. There was a whole bunch of ships going out with us. There was three of us, like three giant ships going out of port that day. And my husband and I, before, um, before we left. And then I have some pictures of just like boarding the ship and here's one of the mast that I'll throw in. Oops, sorry, I forgot they go from the back. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to round my corners of all these yet, so I'm just going to put them in and see how I like it. Um, this one I thought was cool. There's one picture of the deck at daytime and this was it at nighttime. It has um, NCAA basketball on at the pool because uh, it was March Madness when we went. And then I have this nice picture of the sunset. I kind of want it by itself, but what I think I might do is um, 
I have these other little pictures to put in from golf and actually the golfing was um, right where this one was so I think I might take this guy out. And just swap him for the sun sunset one so that they can all go together. And the mini golf was up top, so it was kind of fun to take a picture of that. It was just really windy up there. So I like to say that's why I didn't do so well, right? Um, this is a picture of my husband, and he is... We are in the adult serenity deck, so that's one of our favorite parts. So I you know I'll write some journaling about that. And then I have pictures from in our cabin of those towels and stuff. Um, so I'm going to start putting my pictures in, and then I will... Um, show you when I'm done before I start putting in the cards. All right, so I've got all my pictures in here. Um, when I did it, I ended up with a few extra slots, so um, I'm sure there'll be embellishments and things that I'll put in um, so that it fills up the whole book. But basically, um, as I flip through, you can kind of see how I just threw the pot, you know, three by fours in those pockets. Um, one thing to note when you're printing your pictures, uh, I thought about how I wanted to print all of these, you know, if they went vertical, I made sure that they were three by fours. Um, because what I'm going to do here, these are all separate pictures, but I'm just going to put them onto one four by six card so that it's, they all stay together. Um, and then another thing to think about when you're printing your pictures is um, could you print one in 4x6 that you might be able to cut down into a 3x4? So like this one, it could stake up a 4x6 or I could cut it down. And there's a couple other ones like that. So um, you can see the pockets where I'm going to need to embellish or put in my cards. Here's another one I'm thinking I'm going to cut down if my husband's snorkeling. And um, I will be putting those in now. So what I did was I took out all the 4x6 cards that I might want to use and I'm just going to go through and fill in the 4x6 slots. So this one actually came from a title card page and then here I don't have any 4x6s. I'm going to need one here and you know do I want it to be more orange or some more green. Um, and I'm not really going to overthink it because that's not what it's about. <laughs> um, I'm going to make sure I have it go the right way. Um, here, you know, it was all about what we were doing in our, you know, in our stateroom. So it kind of has a more pinkish color. So I might put this one here. And then I'll fill in some of these spots over here. Um, here, I think I'll go... Maybe, um, looks like here I'll need a journaling card. So I'll probably use one of these ones they have that fold in the middle but you can't really tell um, these have different on the back so kind of got to look at both sides I kind of like this one so I think I'll put maybe one of each of these in here. Um, and I'll just go through with my 4x6s and I just kind of go through all the 4x6s first and then I go back through with the um, the 3x4s again and um, just make sure that they're all put in. So um, yeah, I'm going to keep going on with my 4x6 cards. Alright, so I went back through and I stuck in all the 3x4s and 4x6s and now um, all I have to do really is to um, put in my journaling. Um, what I ended up doing a little bit was, um, like this is from Curacao, so Curacao has kind of like pink and orange. Um, and then when I went to Aruba we had more of a turquoise feel to it. Um, and then this one is when we went to Everglades Park um, where the Gator Boys are, um, things like that. So you can kind of see there's sort of a theme with each chapter that I have. Um, 
One of the things that I did find was that sometimes when you have multiple cards on a page, they get a little busy. So I started putting like two here that are exactly the same. So it kind of mellows it out a little bit. I think I might do the same with this, um, although this is a new chapter. So um, we'll kind of see once I start with my journaling going through, you know, like here, it's a little bit busy. Um, so I might put two cards of the same down there. All right, well, I am going to go through and then I'm just gonna put some stills of the layouts for you. But really, it's just as simple as that. I probably, this probably took me, you know, with filming and everything, maybe, maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, so I know that is definitely a great afternoon project, something you can get done in a couple hours. Um, going back through and putting my journaling is probably gonna be the hardest or the longest part for me, um, but I did keep a journal while I was there, so it'll be um, quite easy to kind of fill in the blanks of the pieces. So um, I will put some of the still photos on the end of this, and I hope you enjoyed watching me um, make my super quick vacation album. I finished my journaling and picked a couple images to share with you. This, um, I just cut down a 4x6 card to fit in the pocket on the front. This is the title page. I used um, a couple 4x6s for the title page on, that they recommend. Then I have two journaling cards um, that I mirrored so that it made a nice border on either side on the top left and bottom right. Don't forget to flip over your 4x6 cards sometimes. Then I have a, um, on my left, I have border on the top and bottom. Uh, this one is just to show you kind of like a title page of one of the chapters that I have. Here's some more pictures from that same chapter. So you can see like the lime green colors that I used throughout this part. Another one that I used here, same chapter. And then the last piece for my chapter. Here I cut up uh, four by six into two pieces. So I used the top piece on the top and the bottom. And then this one is just to show you to mirror again the 3x4 card so you have a nice border on either side. Um, this is just one where I did that again. And the sunset picture did make it in, but not till the end with the uh, fun from our trip. Hope you enjoyed!